Hi everybody, today in class we looked at percent and how percents are actually a type of rate. So that 1% is 1 hundredth and it's written as 1%. Percent actually means for each and cent actually means 100. So a century, there's 100 years. How many cents are in a dollar? There's 100. So percent is for each or per every 100. Percentages can be used as rates. So 30% of a quantity is actually 30 out of 100. And often we can create models of percents by showing what it looks like in a 10 by 10 grid. And we're going to do that right now. So 100 offices need to be painted. The workers choose between yellow, blue, or beige paint. They decide that 45% of the offices are going to be painted yellow. 28% will be painted blue, and the remaining offices will be painted beige. Create a model that shows the percent of offices that will be painted each color. Write the amounts of the decimal and as, as decimals and fractions. So let's go ahead and start with our 45% of the offices are yellow. So 45% of the offices are going to be yellow. So when we look at our yellow, I go to my 10 by 10 grid and I can go ahead and I can shade in one whole column, which is 10, 20, 30, 40, and I have to do 45, so I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 additional. So I have 45 that are shaded in as yellow. So when I go ahead and I want to write that as a percent, it's already written as a percent, 45 percent. As a fraction, that's going to be 45 out of 100. And as a decimal, it's 45 hundredths. My decimal is moved over two places to the left from the when you look at the percent. So to continue with the problem, I can see that I have 28% of the offices are going to be painted blue. So 28% is going to be blue. So when I come on over here and I have to do 28%, I'm going to go ahead and just start with my full column and make 10. There's 20, 25, 26, 27, 28 are shaded in blue. Now we need to go ahead and what is 28%? We'll write it here in 28% as a fraction is 28 per or out of 100. And as a decimal, it's equal to 28 hundredths. Then I continue on. The last one wants beige. So if I take a look at the, um, here it says the remaining offices are going to be beige. So when I look at beige and I have to do my remaining offices, I've got everything that's left here on my 100 grid. So I have that column and these two columns. So I've got 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I've got 27% is beige, will be painted beige, and our fraction would be 27 per or out of 100, and the decimal is 27 hundredths. So when we go ahead, I can see that to make sure that my grid and my percents match, all I have to do is add up the percents, and they should be out of 100, which means they should be a 100 out of 100 if I have everything correct. So the yellow was 45, plus the blue is 28, plus the beige is 27. So my ones place, my seven and eight makes 15, plus five more is 10. Put the zero down, carry the one, or two actually, because it's 20. 20 plus four is 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and I add up to be 100. So 100% 100 of my grid is filled in, and everything matches up there. Same thing with fractions. If I add my fractions up, I'm going to end up with 100 out of 100. If I add my decimals up, I'm going to add up with one whole. So 100%, 100 out of 100, 
equals the whole thing. And that's what we practiced today in class so we can see that percents are a special type of rate. Have a good night.